Are you getting the best value for the dock floats that you're buying? When most dock floats look surprisingly similar in outward appearance, how can you tell whether you're getting the best value for your money? Since they all look like your basic black box, certainly the lowest price float will provide the best value and performance, right? That assumption would be wrong. The differences in float drum quality can be significant and can outweigh any initial cost variances. This video will highlight what we mean. Most of the leading manufacturers profess compliance with regulatory and industry standards for material quality, outer wall thickness, EPS foam water absorption tests, shell impact tests, and buoyancy ratings. But just as in cooking, the same ingredients don't always yield the best end product. It is the cook and the preparation that makes the difference. What we will be showing you in the next few moments has to do with the process of manufacturing and testing float drums to ensure that you always get the value you deserve from Ace Floats. Den Hartog Industries is a family-owned business with over 30 years of manufacturing history. DHI is a leader in plastics manufacturing and caters to a wide variety of industry including agricultural, industrial, and marine. Located in Northwest Iowa, DHI has over 290,000 square feet under roof, including manufacturing facilities for rotational, injection, and blow molded plastics, as well as metal fabrication. DHI has over 325 employees and continues to experience growth each year. Quality, integrity, innovation, and service are the key values Den Hartog Industries delivers with all of their products. Quality begins with the best raw materials. A stock floats are made with only virgin materials. There are no recycled waste products included in any A stock float. Using less than virgin materials introduces inconsistencies and weaknesses in float shells and the effectiveness of the EPS foam fill. This simply does not meet our product standards, nor should you settle for anything less. Because we use only the best raw materials, we confidently stand behind our float products with the industry's best warranty. 15 years with 100% non-prorated replacement in the first 10. Quality checking begins immediately after demolding the part. The prepper drills holes for the foaming process and stamps a date onto each float drum. The foam injection and steaming process is another step that the cooks at ACE have perfected. Foaming is not just a process, it is a science and a critical step. The polystyrene or EPS beads are first expanded in a computer guided process. Once each drum is filled with the proper amount of beads, the drums are set into kettles and steam wands are inserted. The steaming process fuses these beads into one solid foam core. Once the correct steam pressure is reached, the wands are removed and the part is sent on to the finishing stage. If improperly done, it can also shorten the useful life of a float. In the finishing stage, the wand holes are now secured with spin weld fittings, which are actually fused to the drum with heat which is caused by friction. The quality testing is not over once the parts are complete. What makes A-Stock floats better are the quality standards and time-tested proprietary processes in place at Den Hartog Industries. This is where the cook makes a big difference. Let's talk about outer shell wall thickness and outer shell curing first. A-Stock floats are sonically tested to ensure that a nominal wall thickness of 15 one-hundredths of an inch is maintained at all points in the outer wall and to ensure that no point falls below one-eighth of an inch. If the float fails, it does not ship. As the float sizes and buoyancy capacity increase, the outer wall nominal thickness increases proportionately to maintain the wall strength required for heavy loads and the most difficult dock system environments. A stock float's outer shells are properly cured to ensure that there are no air bubbles below the inside third of the wall thickness. If not properly cured, the shells will be weakened even if they meet the nominal 15 one-hundredths of an inch thickness claimed by all manufacturers. Using less than virgin materials can only contribute to this problem. Weak walled floats can fail prematurely. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. One of the required tests for float quality is the ASTM D1998-04 Falling Dart Impact Test. This test measures the ductile failure of the float shell material at specific impact loads and it is a test that float manufacturers should pass to deliver the best value. Let's start with an ACE float. First at 90 foot-pounds, which is the ASTM test minimum. The ACE float passes the 90 foot-pound test. The coupon shows no cracking. Now let's try a competitive float at 90 foot-pounds. The results are very evident. 
What happens if we lower it to a third of the ASTM load, just 30 foot-pounds? Same result. A failure like this one can only cost you money. Sending a crew out to remove the damaged float and replace it can be very expensive and time-consuming. Now let's take a look inside the float at the EPS foam. The 7-day hunt water absorption test is another standard that float manufacturers must meet to deliver the best value. Let's see what Fred Hunt said about the ACE floats. These are the best low absorbing floats which I have ever tested. Never before have I found all test samples from a float from start to finish to be under one pound per cubic foot. This was excellent low absorbing foam and easily met the specifications requirements of under three pounds per cubic foot for each sample. During the hunt water absorption test, finished floats are cubed and weighed to determine the initial weight of each sample. Then the cubes are dunked in water. Over a period of several days, the cubes are removed from the water and then reweighed. The amount of weight gain relates to the amount of water absorption. Too much weight gain and the samples would be considered out of tolerance. One last demonstration. Tank testing for buoyancy ratings. ACE tank tests its floats for accurate buoyancy ratings. It does not just calculate the buoyancy based on float dimensions and etc. Calculated buoyancy ratings can be quite misleading. If it overstates the buoyancy delivered, you may not order enough floats to achieve your freeboard design criteria. Or if they are underestimated, you may have to order more floats than you actually need. Let's take a look at a tank test. As the water fills the tank, the pressure of the tank is measured against the scale suspended above the float. The measurement is completed when the float drum is first submerged under the water. In our own testing of calculated versus tank tested ratings, we saw variances of negative 3.5 to plus 16.8 percent calculated versus tank tested. Now I'm not sure which is more expensive, adding more floats to meet your freeboard needs once the dock system is floating, or buying too many floats to begin with. That's why your design needs to be based on tank test buoyancy ratings. Don't buy more than you need or less than you need. We often find that when testing competitor floats, that the tested buoyancies do not come in nearly as high as their published buoyancies. As you can see from the cross section we took from the competitive float, the foaming was not completed to a satisfactory degree. There are voids in the corner where foam did not fill. That will affect the amount of reserve buoyancy that this float can handle if the shell is compromised or leaks. The choice is yours. Ace floats deliver more value than competitive floats in multiple ways. The buoyancy ratings are tank tested and can be trusted for your dock design. The quality of the outer shell and foam fill delivers the long life that you need. And your maintenance cost for replacing floats that fail prematurely is minimized. And of course, you get the industry's best warranty protection. Thank you for choosing Ace Roto Mold Float Drums.